In Inglewood, California, the Los Angeles Lakers meet the New York Knicks in Game 5 of the NBA Championship Final Series. This ABC Sports Exclusive brought to you by Sears Tire and Auto Centers, home of the Die Hard Battery and the Sears Steel Belted Radio Tire. By Ford and your Ford dealers. See all the better ideas for 73 at your Ford dealers. And by Motorcraft, a complete line of quality automotive parts from Ford. Motorcraft helps keep you off the hook. The Walter A. Brown Trophy, emblematic of championship of the National Basketball Association. It sits at courtside here at the Forum in Inglewood, California tonight, and with a win, the New York Knicks can claim it. For the New York Knicks go into game five tonight, leading the series three games to one, and as the world knows, it's a best of seven series. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Keith Jackson from Los Angeles. And here we go with the New York Knicks out on top of the series, three games to one. And NBA history will tell you that no team has ever come from a 3-1 deficit to win the NBA title. There are a lot of people here in this part of the country who like to think the Los Angeles Lakers can do it. Let's put the question to our analyst and commentator, my colleague Bill Russell. Can Los Angeles in any way come back with enough emotion and enough healthy people to make a game of it? I think they make a game of it, but I don't think they can come back uh, and win three straight for Knickerbocker. Tonight, then, Los Angeles with their back to the wall and Jerry West still dragging a leg, but West will play, and he says he will play until they drag him off the court. Uh, I expect that uh, the Lakers have a good chance of winning tonight. Uh, I think that they have too much going for them to... Uh, not make a, a real good effort tonight. And I think they're going to come out pretty loose uh, and, and pretty involved in the game. So I expect that uh, it'll be a good game as the other ones have, close. And uh, maybe with an answer to the Lakers. Emotion? Emotion, uh, home court, and pride. Right, and pride's a big thing, isn't it? In a situation like this, I don't think that they would like... I, I don't think they know... They think they can really win it. They may say that, but I don't think they really think that. But they would li like to at least go six games. And they lose, lose at New York and not at home. All right, let's get them started. The player introductions will be made by John Ramsey as we get ready for game. Good evening, and welcome to the fabulous forum. And game number five of the NBA World Championship playoffs between the New York Knickerbockers and your Los Angeles Lakers. Introducing the starting lineup for the New York Knicks. Number 10, from Southern Illinois, Walt Frazier. Number 15, from Winston-Salem, Earl Monroe. Number 19, from Grambling, the captain of the Knicks, Willis Reed. Number 24, from Princeton, Bill Bradley. And number 22, from Detroit, Dave DeBusher. The coach and general manager of the Knicks, Red Holtzman. Introducing the starting lineup for the world champions, the Los Angeles Lakers. Number five from Columbia, Jim McMillan. 
Number 32 from Kansas, Bill Bridges. Number 13 from Kansas, the captain of the Eagles, Will Taylor. Number 25 from UCLA, Gail Fibrich. Number 44 from West Virginia, Jerry West. The assistant coach of the Lakers is John Barnwell. Head coach, Bill Sherman. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to please rise at this time. We are pleased to have with us this evening Mr. Richard Gesswine. Will you please join with him in singing our national anthem? Officials for tonight's fifth game, Daryl Gerritsen and Don Murphy with Jake O'Donnell, the alternate. We'll tip them off in a moment. The starting lineups as we gave them to you, only one team in the last 13 years has won the final series without the benefit of the home court of the NBA. That was Boston in 1969. They won it here. New York can do it tonight. Los Angeles wearing the gold, light-colored uniforms control the opening tip, and Goodrich drives it and missed it. And the rebound is out of bounds, and it's New York's ball. The New York Knicks wearing the dark blue have Earl Monroe and Walt Frazier in the backcourt. Bill Bradley, Willis Reed, and Dave DeBusher on the front line. DeBusher coming off a 33-point performance last Tuesday night. Jerry West moving. He did Tuesday. Here's a look. DeBusher. Earl Monroe finds a crack in the defense. We have a whistle by Darrell Garrison. He calls for a moving block. And it's a turnover for the New York Knicks. The first of the ball game as Goodrich brings it up against Earl Monroe. Goodrich has not had a big ball game in the series. Chamberlain backs up for the inbounds play. We have no score. We just about played a minute. Bill Bridges is number 32. Give it back to Bridges. He's in the three second area. It's knocked away by Willis Reed. Chamberlain is in the middle by John Murphy. In turnovers during the series of the four previous games, as we take another look at it, Los Angeles has turned it over 80 times, New York only 54 times. things that uh, we might go over as uh, we talk about this game. Now, Jerry West is injured, and uh, the type of injury that he has will not hurt him offensively. Where he'll really uh, be hurting is defensively. And uh, another thing I, I think we might take note of is the fact, uh, in talking about the Lakers, but in throughout his career, Gil Goodrich has consistently had big games when it's a very important game, and they can't get any more important than the Lakers game tonight. Jim McMillan hit the basket that tied it at two. 
With 10 minutes and 10 seconds to play in the first quarter. Jerry West is yet to put it up. He has the ball in the corner right now. Goodrich. And we get a whistle before the foul. Earl Monroe called for the personal foul. Take another look. Watch Goodrich 25 as Monroe comes to get him and grabs him. You know, that's a tough call since they're using hand checking. It's, uh, it, it's a tough call for referees to call because the guys have their hands on each other all the time. It's like the pump and run defense they use in football. Chamberlain missing that finger roll, going for the rebound, fouled. And his first personal of the night, first for Los Angeles, score 2 2, 9.50 to go, first quarter. Bill Bradley's first shot. Previous games, Los Angeles won the opener here by three, and all the games so far in this series have just been tantalizingly tough and close. This is Chamberlain rebound. Missed it. Up again. I think he intended to make that one. We're even at four with 9.25 to go in the first quarter. Earl Monroe gives it back to Reed. Chamberlain. Now, he said a uh, shot that he intended to make it. First, he threw it up there nice and soft, and it didn't uh, didn't do too much. He says, well, you can't do it soft. you got to do it the hard way. Now, there. Now, that's a little emphasis on it that time. They called the foul on Bridges, not Chamberlain. Bridges is first. Reads wide open. Bridges comes too late. Chamberlain stayed under the basket. And what Willis Reed is doing, he's staying in, in, uh, within his shooting range, and when the guys go to the hoop and Chamberlain has to switch, then they, uh, they pass it to, to uh, Willis Reed, and uh, he's a pretty good shooter from where he is. We're tied again at six, and it starts out like one of those barn burners. Reed again. Nope. Chamberlain rebound. Chamberlain is not coming out so far tonight. Bridges is trying to switch off and get to Reed. Well, they were little steps. They weren't the real long ones. But he doesn't take long ones anyway. We've got a foul call on the next. Dave DeBusher blocking. That's his first personal. Now, the Knickerbockers do a lot, a lot of picking. Setting blocks so the guys can get free for shots. The busher comes down to rebound it. Garrison and Murphy are the referees. McMillan almost had it. Earl Monroe working against Gail Goodrich. Gets away from him. And the rebound goes to Bill Bridges. New York does not start tonight as hot as they did on Tuesday. Jerry West. Oh, go. Hit the top of the board and came back in to read. Knickerbockers in the last game, they did something they don't usually do. They did a lot of fast breaking. Frazier. The Nets are cold at the start. West against Bradley on the baseline. It's Goodrich on top. Neither team shooting well. Bradley. They don't use it too much. But when they use it, they're very effective with it because they run it so controlled so well. With 7.15 to go in the first quarter of play, Knicks 8, Lakers 6. We've noted already that Bill Bradley for New York and Gail Goodrich for Los Angeles have to be key people in a game that has as much pressure on it as this one. And they both do a similar type of job. They both uh, are at best, at their best, moving without the ball and just shooting. Uh, they play, both play pretty good floor games, but uh, Bill Bradley needs a good shooting night, and so does Gail Goodrich. Chamberlain goes to the basket, misses the shot. He could not muscle Reed, and Willis gets the rebound. And Reed's beat him down. In the... And New York goes to a 10 to 6 lead. And in a game like this, you have to be very careful because uh, one of these teams, the, the competition is so tough that one of the teams can blow the other one out in a very short time. And so a uh, train can develop almost before you know it. 
Goodrich is one for four from the field. Bradley is three for three. West against Frazier and Walt misses. West gets the rebound, gives it out, throws it away. Lakers didn't look. Bradley and Walt Frazier were right there. And Monroe hits it. Well, the Lakers careless throw it away, and New York comes back with an answer. And it's 12 to 8 Knicks with 6-10 to go first quarter. Goodrich. Rebound Frazier. Goodrich now one for five. Chamberlain comes out to read this time. Bradley. Bradley's four for four in the ball game. It's five and fifty five to go. And he is off to that good start. Now they're going to have to make an adjustment on him one way or the other. Got blocked by Reed. Chamberlain has it. Puts it up. Missed it. Rebound goes to New York. Nixon about to take command of this ball game. Ball kept away from Bradley by McMillan. West. Nope. Goes down hard. Ball's knocked out. New York ball off Chamberlain. Okay, West is well. Took the money. I might have a seat. Here's the play. The running hook. Reed spun him around pretty good. Fourteen to eight, the score. Five twenty-five to go, first quarter. The busher. Bradley puts it up. Loose ball foul. Somebody going up over Bradley's back. I think it's Bill Bridges. Bill Bridges. That'll be his. Now Bradley is screened out. He got good position there, and uh, there's the foul. Now both these teams are emotionally charged. And it seems that uh, at this point, maybe the uh, Knickerbockers are just a little more charged up because they are, have set the, the tempo of the game. I think Saber said that the tempo is there. West Fields, Monroe's pass. On a break to Goodrich. New York leads by four. I think Jerry West had sat there waiting for that one because he knew that was coming. Almost steal it again. Monroe from the corner. Say take that. Earl is two for four. 435 to go now. First quarter, 16-10, New York. Goodrich loses. The ball was checked away by Monroe. Frazier against McMillan. 18-10. The Knicks open up an eight-point lead. And I think that the Knickerbockers better, I mean the Lakers better regroup. Because they are, uh, they haven't started this game very well. McMillan missing. Rebound to Willis Reed. Reed has four. The Busher. Chamberlain. As the Busher failed his iron with a shot, Chamberlain has five rebounds. Now Willis Reed is doing something interesting. Um, he's a uh, Contesting um, with Chamberlain on the rebound, not so much on the rebound, but on the outlet pass to slow down the Laker pass break. Now 18-12 on Jim McMillan's basket. Another key Laker. He didn't score much Tuesday. He's two for five so far in this game, with 3.25 to go in the first period. Five seconds on the timer as Frazier shoots and misses. And rebound to McMillan. Bridges. Chamberlain tip. The Busher rebound. Frazier holds against West. Reed comes outside. And they are shooting very, very well. Willis Reed, three for five from outside. 2.45 to go. First quarter. Knicks have 20. Lakers have 12. Bill Bradley, I think. That's the first personal time call Los Angeles. 2.41 to go in the first quarter of play. And the New York Knicks start quickly. Moving the ball well. Lead by 8. 20 to 12. 
Let's take another look at the turnover by the New York Knicks that resulted in a Los Angeles fast break. Now, Keith, uh, what uh, Jerry West did, he's seen him coming in there. He stood right outside that passing lane. He was sitting there waiting for that. And it's a funny thing that uh, Earl Monroe could not see him. And it's a funny thing, but you can actually hide out there on the court if you get out of a guy's vision or out of that passing lane. Is that why a lot of coaches say to a lot of fellas sometimes after the game, where have you been? I don't know. I was, I, was, I, was, I was out there somewhere. Los Angeles has the ball. Now Keith Erickson is in the lineup replacing Jerry West. Chamberlain takes it in. Reed got a piece of it. Erickson rebounds it, puts it up and in. New York's lead now is six points. 2.25 to go. First quarter. The Nick lineup remains the same. The Lakers making the two changes. Happy Hurston and Keith Erickson coming in. Reed outside. The pusher keeps it alive for Bradley. Won't go. Chamberlain gets it. New York leads by six. One for six. From the field. He's going to the bucket tonight. He does not have much luck up there. Reed is quite in tough. They go back to Chamberlain. He looks for McMillan. McMillan can't get through. Chamberlain goes in. Look what that found. He was looking for the pass. He turned around. There's nobody between him and the bucket. Take another look. Looking for somebody to pass to. He just said, well, I might as well go ahead and do this. 20 to 16. Darrell Garrison whistles a foul. Happy Harrison gets the foul. His first Quite a bit last Tuesday, and got him back in there. Harrison had knee surgery back in December 12. Shortly thereafter, when he was injured on December 12, good pass back to Reed. The pusher misses the howitzer. Reed keeps it alive, but McMillan gets the rebound. Willis really hitting the board. Goodrich. Goodrich again. Gail Goodrich, two for eight. Reed, Austin, Chandler, the pusher gets it. One roll, short, rebound, Erickson. McClellan, this is rebound, Hampton. The pusher blocks it. Goodrich has got it. Hampton, short, there goes, out of bounds. And they are bumping heads out there. They are doing what we can say. Whipping heads and taking names out there. Now here's the block on uh, Willis Reed when he uh, tried to go baseline there. I'll tell you one thing, there's going to be a lot of guys bruised tomorrow. Yes, sir. Frazier. Mr. Reed. Chamberlain has eight rebounds at the ball game. The Lakers are going for one shot. They're going to run the clock down. They got 16 seconds on the timer there. In the Chamberlain. Oh, not the way. Knicks have got it with six seconds. Monroe breaks. Scores basket. Bounce. McMillan fouled him. So the Lakers throw it away. Take a look here as Monroe got loose. McMillan didn't put much on him. He just kind of came down there and... Ooh, didn't touch him. Much. I mean, just tried to get away from him. Just rushed him going by. But Earl was airborne at the time. And contact at that point. Almost automatic. So with four seconds to play, New York leads at 23-16. Long pass to Hairston. Shot is up by Happy Airball. At the end of the first quarter, Los Angeles scores only 16 points. The Knicks have 23. 23 16 ball game. The New York Knicks have the lead as we go to the second quarter of play. Los Angeles keeps Hairston, Bridges, Erickson, West comes back, and Chamberlain on the floor. I'm a little surprised, Bill, that Bill Sherman is using Happy Hairston this much because he wasn't particularly productive the other night, and tonight he's taken two shots and he hasn't touched the iron with him. 
Well, actually, he uh, he he doesn't have to score that much. Uh, where he usually scores anyway is on the fast break. And it's, if he gets that going, then it, you know he takes off sometime when he sees that uh, the center's got the rebound, and he's a pretty good defensive rebounder. So he actually doesn't have to, to make a, a, a lot of shots to be effective. Erickson controls it for Los Angeles as Chamberlain takes the tip. New York's lineup remains the same. And we've got a foul whistle on Earl Monroe of New York. It'll be a common foul. They'll take the ball out of bounds. Let's take five seconds for our local stations to identify themselves right after this shot. Chamberlain. And it's a 23-18 ball game. Now let's take the five. New York. Los Angeles shooting 28% from the field so far in the ball game. 28%. Primarily because of New York defense. Their shots have been within range. Erickson against Monroe. He's bigger than Earl. Can't get it. Loose ball foul call. Should be Erickson. That's his first person. Substituted so far. As we go into the second quarter of play. Willis Reed outside. Shoots it over Chamberlain. Rebound West. Deep to Chamberlain. Deep under the bucket. Has to come back with a three. And three seconds call. Lakers turn it over. Los Angeles has coughed it up six times. New York five, Bradley out. Bill Jackson comes in for the Knicks. Jackson number 18. The pace is slow here at the start of the second quarter. Jackson against Hairston. Reed on the switch. Got it. That's uh, what you call freezing. Uh, he went in and he and he offered the ball to uh, to Wilt Chamberlain to get him up. And then he, what it is is a real it's a slow pump. You call it. You know, take the shot and give him real good motion to freeze him so that he has to react. And then what, what it is actually trying to lay up. Look at what he did. Now here's the shot again. I was just talking about. See, now here, he's going to offer the ball here. See, there's the offer. You see, now, he got him there, then he go, keeps going. You see, now, actually, what he did was just give a pump, but he actually went for the, that was one motion, but it's broken by the fact that he pumped. Happy Harrison made the basket, but called an offensive foul against him. New York will bring the ball in, leading by seven points, 25 to 18 and 10 20 to go in the second quarter. Willis Reed looks at Jackson going by. Can't get it to him. Bush are coming back around. Monroe and Oaks will score. Willis just stood there and watched him cut by until somebody picked and got loose, and it happened to be Monroe, who has nine points in the ball game. Erickson's in the corner, New York up by nine points. West gives it to Erickson with three on the timer. Misses, rebound to Busher. Next doing a good job on the backboard against Wilk. Reed outside again, starts the... Procedure and again it's Monroe. This time Earl misses. We've got a foul. Loose ball. Bill Jackson. He looked a little open for that rebound. Yeah, real open. <laughs> he might have nudged somebody at taste. <laughs> Nick shooting 44%. The Lakers only 28%. Now Nickelbuckers are not shooting exceptionally well. Although the Lakers are. 
Chamberlain gets it up. And a foul. Willis Reed called for it. Take another look. Willis kept the contact. Gave a little nudge when he went into the air for a shot. And that's what got him called. And this is the longest free throw in basketball. Right here. Jerry Lucas comes in and Willis Reed goes out. A change for New York. Chamberlain goes to the line. Has eight rebounds. He's three out of eight from the field for six points. His first trip to the line tonight. He was the leading percentage shooter from the field in the NBA this season. to go in the second quarter. The New York Knicks are leading 27 to 19 in game number five. Knicks with a three to one edge in the series. New York throws it away. If New York wins tonight, they will win the NBA championship. Defroning Los Angeles as NBA champion. Only one other team has ever won the championship on a foreign court. That was Boston 1969. They won it here. Because the big guy to my right had a whopping night. Chamberlain puts it up. Basket count, Lucas or Jackson, both there. I think he intends to do a little scoring tonight. Because he worked with that one. Foul is on Lucas. New York has four team fouls here in the second quarter with eight minutes and 44 seconds to go. So from here on, Los Angeles will be in the bonus situation at the foul line. The Lakers have only one team foul. a three-point play. And now, New York leads by five. Chamberlain, 11 for 27 from the foul line in the series. To get the Lucas is outside. Give it to Walt Frazier. Shoots it up over Walt and misses. Heston has the rebound. Lakers now trying to make a move. They were down by nine a moment ago. West. Gets it up, missed it, rebound. Jackson goes to the floor and saves it. Ball deflected, Erickson gets it for Los Angeles. Kirsten Bridges. Bridges hits it. New York leads by three. New York led by 21 points the other night. Los Angeles fought back to trail by only two in the final quarter. Monroe, nice shot by Earl LaPearl. And the lead goes back to five at 7.45 to go. Earl Monroe has 11 of New York's 29 points. Bridges against Jackson. Foul. Missed the basket, but Jackson fouled him. You know what uh, has been a trend in this uh, series is the team been that's a hit seem to do more fouling than the team's trying to catch up. And uh, I think in uh, three of the uh, previous games that has been the case. Time is called on the floor with seven minutes and 36 seconds to play in the second quarter. Bill Bridges will have three to make two and play resumes 29-24 next lead. Both teams still in their huddle with New York leading 29-24, 7.36 to go, first half. Points come hard for the Los Angeles Lakers against New York. They averaged 112 points per game during the regular season against the NBA. But against New York, they averaged only 98 points in splitting the four games with the Knicks. Now we have lineup changes. New York sends in Dean Meminger replacing Earl Monroe. Bill Bradley comes back. Bill Jackson goes out. Gail Goodrich is back on the floor for Los Angeles, replacing Jerry West. Bill Bridges, three to make two, makes the first one. New York leads by four. Now three. 
Bridges 16 for 19 from the foul line during the series. So he's had very good success there. Deminger is number seven. New York and blue. Knicks lead by three. Bradley against Chamberlain. Can't put it up. DeBusher can. Rebound. Meminger got a foul. Dean kind of sandwiched two Lakers together. Foul called on him. That uh, means they will shoot. Backboard foul. And it'll be a penalty coming up now as Los Angeles goes over the four foul. I mean, uh, New York goes over the four foul limit. Los Angeles will be shooting now. All fouls against the Knicks. Goodrich on the line. Four now five. He's two for eight from the field. He can pull the Lakers within one point of New York at 7.21 to go. It's DeBusher against McMillan. Lucas away outside. Chamberlain got a little piece of it, but Bradley gets the rebound. Missed it. Lakers on the move. Goodrich on a break. Couldn't get the ball to him. Against Meminger. Got a foul. Offensive. Goodrich. Here's the foul here. Uh, what Meminger's trying to do is just hold position. And there's the foul right there. First personal Goodrich. Does not count as a team foul. It's a turnover instead. Los Angeles still only one team foul. 6.50 to go in the first half. New York leading by one. Chamberlain comes out on Lucas when Jerry has the ball. Frazier can't find the shot. Lucas on a switch gets it. Jerry Lucas. Now the range on that shot, about 26 feet. That particular one. 31-28 New York. McMillan lobs to Chamberlain. Wilk turns against Jerry. The horse out. So Los Angeles will keep the ball. There's on the line right there. No foul, just a force out. Inside. Nice play. Goodrich now eight points in the ball game. New York leads by one. 31-30. 6 10 to go. First half. Frazier gives it to Lucas. Erickson almost took that ball away from him. Bradley way out. Missed it. Rebound. Goodrich. Chamberlain kept it alive and knocked it out. Long pass. Give it to McMillan. Los Angeles threw it away. McMillan trying to get rid of the ball and avoid the offensive foul. Lost control of it at a critical time. 31-30 next. 5.40 to go. Chamberlain comes outside on Lucas. Frazier trying to get away from Erickson. Just enough. Hicks by three. McMillan. Nope. Rebound Chamberlain. We have a foul. There's the rebound and there's the foul. Butcher. Dave leaves. Jackson comes in for New York. Meminger is out. Monroe is back. You know, a lot of the people here in Los Angeles complaining about the fact that uh, Chamberlain had been scoring very much. It looks like he's going to have... Um, if he doesn't score tonight, it won't be because he hadn't put the ball up. That's right. He has 10 points in the ball game. 5.21 to go first half. Here's the bonus now. Missed them both. 33-30. Monroe brings it up against Gail Goodrich. Bradley against Bill Bridges. Lucas now. Jackson back in the lineup. Paul Garrison stops it. Three seconds against New York. teams are making a lot of mistakes, but there's a whole lot at stake in this ball game. Eight-seven turnovers. 
winner gets 100,000. For the series, loser 65,000. Untold ancillary benefits. Three seconds called against Chamberlain. Took too long. That takes care of the money side of it. But there is the factor called pride that has no price. Jackson on a drive. Shoots it over Chamberlain. Goes to Bridges on the rebound. Inside the bridges. He's walking around. That's what happens when you've got a man in contact with you and you start trying to back in. He started it before the dribble and he took three or four little steps. Now the Lakers are playing uh, what you would call a freelance offense. They're not running a lot of set plays. Uh, they're running down and just by playing with each other, they know what the guys like to do so they know when to set picks and things like that, but they're not running a, a set plays at this point. They're uh, using a freelance offense right now. Lucas hits another howitzer from outside. The next lead goes back to five. Jerry two for two from out around 26, 27 feet. Goodrich. McMillan. And he hits one over Jackson. to go in the first half. Low scoring so far. Tough defense. Tough ball game. Lucas to Bradley. Nope. Rebound McMillan. New York wins it. It's all over. Five and 70. Trying to get it back in 73. Shot misses. Chambers. He's fouled. He's hitting the offensive boards pretty well. Now, uh, what the uh, are going to have to do is they're going to have to screen him out a little more. Yeah, but aren't they taking the considered risk when he is in there? Uh, they're just, they're, they'd rather foul him rather than give him that slam dunk if they can. Well, the only danger in that is you get too many guys in foul trouble for one thing, and then uh, the Lakers are now in a, in a penalty situation so that every time it's a foul, they get to shoot it. And so that the fouls that, uh, if they foul him early in the quarter, for example, the non-shooting fouls, and then when you get later in the, uh, early in the quarter, you got every foul the two-shot foul. Right. And Chamberlain misses at the foul line. Jackson has left the game, and DeBusher has come back. Jackson has three personal fouls. Chamberlain, ten points. Two for, three for seven from the foul line. Here comes the bonus. 35-33 ball game. Wilt has 11 rebounds in this game so far. He's at four out of nine from the field. He's so far back, he's standing very much on the field. Almost out of it. 35-34. Bradley. Gets out of the lane in a hurry. He's going to roll open. He missed it. Chamberlain has 12 rebounds. Goodrich against Monroe. Ball knocked away. McMillan saves it for Los Angeles. You have seven seconds on the timer. Goodrich over Monroe. Missed it and DeBusher rebound. 35-34 ball game, two and a half minutes to go in the first half. If there is a sixth game, it'll be played in Madison Square Garden Sunday afternoon, two o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Frazier hits another one. All eight points, four out of ten from the field. And the Nickelback seem to be able to answer every time the uh, Lakers make a run at it. They seem to be able to come up with something. Goodrich takes it in. Wow, that's the count. We should have a tie. We had a lot of ties early in the first quarter, but then New York pulled out to a nine-point lead, and now Los Angeles has a chance to catch him. Take another look as Goodrich drives against Earl. And Monroe fouled him, his third person. 2.07 to go in the first half. The New York Knicks 37, Los Angeles 36. 
37-36 ball game. Commissioner Walter Kennedy right there. Gail Goodrich will come out with a free throw and have a chance to tie it at 37 if he can make the free throw. The last tie we had was early in the ball game at 6-6. Scoring, Chamberlain with 12, Reed with 6, and Lucas with 4. The three big men, if you want to put it in that vernacular. Bill Bradley made the first four shots he took from the floor tonight for the Knicks, which got him off to their big lead, but he has missed his last five. New York sends out now to Busher, Lucas, Frazier, Meminger, and Bradley. Los Angeles comes back with McMillan, Erickson, Goodrich on the free throw line, Chamberlain, and Bridges. Tied at 37. Los Angeles still with only one team foul. Two minutes to go in the first half. I was saying, he's not a very high scoring game. Oh, I should say not. Bradley. No. He's missed six. Third out for Goodrich. Nick's back in a hurry. Gale double team. In trouble. Gets it to Bridges. Running hook short. Rebound Frazier. They did a nice job on Chamberlain that time. He wasn't anywhere near the board. Trying to break it away to Meminger and the pass was too long. You know, at this rate, they'll, uh, they're both teams will be in about the middle 80s. We've had one game already, you know, within the 80s, 87, 83. Chamberlain. Rebound to Busher. Now, if there's any shot that the Knickerbocker can see him taking, that's the shot. The Busher missed it. Lucas tipped it in. Ball slid right across the back iron and right into the hands of Jerry Lucas for an easy tip. Luke's three for three. New York leading by two with a minute to go as Goodrich puts it in. His shooting is heated up pretty much. Uh, he was kind of cold to start the game. He's one for four, but then um, after that he's been shooting pretty well. He has 13 points. We're tied at 39. Lucas has to unload it as McMillan came to get him. Bradley. Nope. He's missed seven straight. McMillan third the rebound. Inside the Chamberlain goes into the lane. Finger rolls it up. No good. Rebound to Busher. Chamberlain screams at the officials for a foul. Walt Frazier gets it up in the air. No. Rebound McMillan. Long pass to Chamberlain. All around. He'll slam it. Lakers have the lead for the first time in the ball game with 12 seconds to go, 41-39. And the Knickerbockers misread the clock. They thought they had a uh, time and ran out, and they rushed the shot, and they didn't have to. Lucas misses, a rebound to Los Angeles. The half is over. Chamberlain, for once, got a breakaway. Watch this now. As it is cleared by McMillan, Jimmy spots him and loops it deep. At this point, don't get in the way. That big flash you see right there, flash bulbs from along the sidelines. Los Angeles leads at halftime. 41-39, halftime score. Los Angeles getting its first lead at the closing moments as the New York Knicks misread the clock and took a shot they didn't have to take. But it's the kind of a ball game, I guess, that's going to go to the last second. Yeah, well, the uh, Lakers uh, started slow, but they're, uh, they're getting it going now, and they're... They're into their game now. Uh, the Knickerbockers start out pretty strong, but uh, the Lakers uh, change the tempo. And uh, one important thing is that um, with Chamberlain going to the basket, uh, he's created uh, problems for the uh, Knickerbockers, uh, foul problems more than anything else. And so they're going to have to make some adjustments uh, on that. They're going to have to either uh, keep him further away from the, uh, the bucket or screen him out more because he's in the offensive board, which he doesn't usually do. Well, now, screening him out, you're going to also... Jerry Lucas can't screen him out. He's going to have to have some help from DeBusher. Reed probably can, but it's going to put an awful lot of wear and tear. And, and as you said, probably get Willis in foul trouble. And uh, the other thing they, they probably will do is when he puts the ball on the floor, the guards are going to have to go at it when he's got enough... Because he has a habit, before he makes any moves, he puts the ball down. And they have to... Uh, one of the ways they could change it would be to go in after the ball then while he's got it down. 
Okay, 41-39 at halftime in the ball game. I'd like to take just a moment, too, ladies and gentlemen, to express publicly and to you our appreciation, those of us who do appear on camera, for all of those gentlemen who work so long and so hard behind the scenes, people, some of whose names you never hear, some whose names you do see and hear, but all of them. We think we at ABC, we have the finest collection of technical men and engineers and people who make it all hang together for anybody in the business. We're very proud of them. We thank them very much. Our score here at halftime at the Forum in Inglewood, California, 41-39, Los Angeles leading New York and NBA basketball championships. Game five being brought to you by all state insurance companies for insurance to protect your car, your home, your life, health, and business, too. Talk to the good hands people. By the Miller Brewing Company, brewers of Miller Highlight. If you've got the time, we've got the beer. And by Sears Tire and Auto Centers, home of the diehard battery and the Sears steel belted radio tire. 24 minutes of basketball left. We'll get it going. The individual scoring at halftime for the New York Knicks. You look at the leading scorers, you're right. You do not see Dave DeBusher's name up there. David had 33 points Tuesday night. In New York's win, he has not scored a single point so far in the game tonight. And I don't think Jerry West has either. Well, we'll check it. You're right. He's 0 for 5 from the field. So two of the big guns for the respective teams have failed to put their names in the scorebook so far this evening. With Chamberlain totaling 14 and Goodrich 13. And in the last eight and a half minutes of the second quarter, the Lakers outscored New York 23 to 12. We start the second quarter of play with the Knicks in the blue, sending Willis Reed into the tip against Chamberlain. And Los Angeles controls the tip with West back in the lineup. And he promptly loses control of the ball, trying to pass it inside. And Bradley takes it out for the New York Knicks. New York has Monroe, Frazier, Bradley, DeBusher, and Reed. Los Angeles, Bridges, McMillan, West, Goodrich, and Chamberlain. DeBusher still doesn't have a point. Bill Bridges has the rebound for Los Angeles. David 0 for 6. Goodrich on a drive. Feeds it back, and McMillan kicks it out of bounds. So Los Angeles has come up with a couple of very careless turnovers to start the third quarter. And that's the quickest way I know to get yourself in trouble against the New York Knicks and start turning it over. Frazier lobs it, gets away with it. Reed has got a foul. Personal foul on Bill Bridges. No one has four so far for either team. Jackson has three for New York. Willis Reed at the top of the key. Wheels away from Chamberlain. Carries the ball over. Run over New York. The Knicks are, are starting slow. The Lakers are throwing the ball away twice, but the, the Knickerbockers are not are not moving very well at this point offensively because they are going down. They have not gotten a good shot. And, and the key to them getting good shots is, is mobility, and they haven't moved very well at all. McMillan puts it up. He forced the shot under heavy defensive pressure and didn't get much of the rim. Here's the pusher with a shot over Chamberlain. Missed it. Rebound Willis Reed. Puts it outside. Bradley. And Bill Bradley gets the first point. The tie at 41 here in the third quarter. McMillan against Bradley gives to West. Jerry got it. His first two of the night. So West is in the scorebook, but DeBusher is not. Monroe misses. Rebound Chamberlain. 43-41 Los Angeles. Lakers coming up for the ball. West against Monroe. No. Rebound Reed. Frazier now runs him a little bit. Coming out of backcourt. They're now starting his deep circle route as Frazier drops one in to tie again at 43. Frazier steals the ball and scores. Lakers went to sleep. And 
McMillan against Frazier. Wall takes it away from him, gets it back. Jimmy hasn't handled it cleanly yet this quarter. We've got a foul on Dave DeBush. Third foul on DeBush. Watch this play now. West passes it in to Goodrich, and Frazier just slipped in there and picked his pocket. Got a foul called on Willis Reed of New York. Conversation, you knew a technical was obvious, and Red Holzman, the next coach, got it. Now Chamberlain will go to the line as Goodrich makes the technical. 45-44. Chamberlain will shoot two. 14 points, 13 rebounds. <laughs> He's going to break something. He's four out of nine from the foul line. Missed that one, too. Rebound, Reed. Willis is mad. 45-44, Knicks. 9-20 to go in the third quarter. Reed outside. Yes. That's the best way to take out your anger. That's not his normal spot either. He went deeper in the corner for it. New York by three with nine minutes to go in the third quarter. In the chamber. Takes it in. Gets Reed up. He did a number on Reed that time. He had Willis pop him. I think we, Reed was expecting a finger roll. And uh, that was not exactly a finger roll. It's called a broken arm if you get in the way. Frazier on the drive. And Darrell Garrison calls a foul on the drive. Take another look at this move by Chamberlain. Take that. 47-46. Foul is on McMillan. And time is called by the New York Knicks with 8 minutes and 38 seconds to play. Knicks came to the forum tonight in Los Angeles leading 3-1 to one in the series. They lead the game 47-46. 13. Uh, the Knickerbockers have 51 field goal attempts, the Lakers 50. And so uh, that's a major difference, and I think the reason for that is primary tonight is uh, Chamberlain is getting uh, a lot of fouls, uh, and so that uh, they end up in uh, foul trouble. The Knickerbockers end up in foul trouble much earlier than they would ordinarily do. Bradley gets the foul on that play, and you won't see Walt Frazier miss two, three throws very often either. That's the second personal foul on Bill Bradley. 8.20 to go, third quarter, 47-46, New York. Chamberlain bounces the ball, trying to backdoor it. Bradley picks it off. Frazier on a drive. Loses control. And holds his balance and makes the shot. Walt now has 14 points. 7 out of 13 from the field. Gary West working the baseline. Reverse gun. Knicks lead by one. On that exchange of baskets, both teams look good. And Frazier trying to get it going. Kicked it out of bounds. Lock running at 7.45. As Goodrich takes it in. Over Reed. Misses. Chamberlain snaps it back to McMillan. Good. Los Angeles back on top. Here's Bradley. Flips it back to Willis. Reed loses control. Bradley picks it up. Got it. Well, he, bro he broke his um, dry spell. You know, he yeah. went for a long time without making anything. And he missed, I think, eight shots at the close of the first half. 12 points now for Bill. West way out. Nope. Rebound to Busher. Seven minutes to go, third quarter. Pass Reed inside. Good. Reed got a 
get away from Chamberlain. Hunter ran him down the floor and had position. Ten points for Willis. Got a foul. Offensive. Goodrich. Elbow. See, this, this is definitely a contact game tonight. They, uh, they've been mixing it up pretty good. Uh, because nobody wants to back off, Ben. So it's hard nose, tough. Not too much strategy, but hard nose. Now, the big guy here has been causing problems, uh, not ordinary problems for the Knickerbockers. They usually worry about him defensively, but tonight he's, ca he's causing real problems for him offensively because he's managed to get him in team foul trouble early. And at this point, they, um, they have uh, three team fouls uh, with uh, six minutes to go. And so they only they only got one more foul before they start shooting, and then the Lakers uh, can early in the game in the quarter be shooting free throws, and um, this could create real problems for the uh, Lakers. Nickelback, I'm sorry. Reed misses the shot, long pass down court to McMillan by Bridges, gives it out to West over Reed. Yes. New York's lead is one now. West is three for ten. Lakers come up with the ball. West. Earl Monroe comes out with it. Jerry had a good unmolested shot from the foul line and missed it. The busher has it checked away, but Bradley saves it for New York. Chamberlain a rebound. Well, that's not big imagination. <laughs> 5.45 to go in the third quarter. McMillan loses the ball. McMillan's been a butterfinger here in the third quarter. Monroe gets it. Now, right there, you saw Jerry West. Ordinarily, he would have caught Earl Monroe, but he couldn't. You could see him limping on it. Those are the kind of plays where, where he, he hurts. Uh, and uh, the injury really bothers him on a defensive play. Los Angeles has turned it over 16 times, New York 12 times. Gail Goodrich responsible for six of those Los Angeles turns. West again. Missed again. Rebound goes to DeBusher. Beat Bridges. West is getting his shot, but he's not making him. Frazier. Rebound to West. McMillan. Got it. Lakers cut New York's lead to one again with 4.45 to go in the third quarter. Ten points for McMillan. Bill Bradley. Good. Bradley has 14 points in the ball game at four and a half minutes to go. New York again by three. in the three-second area, gives it back to Bridges, who misses the shot. Reed rebounds it. Willis has got a bundle. Ball knocked out by Bridges. Harrison comes into the Los Angeles lineup now, and Jerry West will leave. It looks like he might have pulled that uh, leg a little bit uh, when he's trying to catch the Elmer on that fast break, because he uh, I know some pull a limp a little bit. Willis Reed. 10 rebounds. Jerry West leaves, hitting 3 for 12 from the field. Crazy. Foul. Basket counts. You know, he's on the quiet way. Uh, all three have a pretty good basketball game for him. He's the direction of the middle of the foul. He kind of stumbled into it. Wall now with a three-point opportunity. He has nine points in this quarter. He has 17 for the game. 3.55 to go. Third quarter. Knicks up by six. 60 to 54. Keith Erickson call for blocking offensive foul. Three personals on Erickson. That's the third team foul on the Lakers. So both teams now have three team fouls with 3.45 to go in the third quarter. 
Frazier against Erickson, and Reed is way outside. Looks into the busher. He's got a mismatch in there with Goodrich trying to hold him. And Reed makes the shot. Now the Knicks lead by eight. New York has run off seven straight points. Goodrich. Good. Now let's pause five seconds for our local stations to identify themselves. We have a foul call. WABC TV, New York. No foul. Just a momentary timeout. Now what caused that last uh, good shot there was that uh, there was a man free and uh, two guys went after him to make sure that they got back in time. And uh, it didn't work out that well. Chamberlain another rebound. And the Lakers come up. Built now with 15 rebounds. New York leading 62-56. Los Angeles keeps it. I think Willis got run over a little bit on that play. <laughs> Runaway box club. Take another look here. Is Chamberlain turned for the basket. Crunch. And then Willis gave it the old Emmy uh, performance, yeah, he, too. He helped a little, didn't he? <laughs> 245 to go, third quarter. 62 56. Next lead. Mel Counts has come into the lineup to join Wilt Chamberlain on the front line for Los Angeles. It's the first appearance of the night for Counts. So they have Counts, Chamberlain, Erickson, Bridges, and Goodrich. New York comes back with Phil Jackson, Willis Reed, Walt Frazier, Bill Bradley, and Earl Monroe. Now, what turns the game around? Why, why would the Knickerbockers come from two down to go uh, six up? The Lakers, at this point in the second half, have not been doing... They have not been doing things that they did the first half that worked for them. Now, the one thing that worked for them in the first half was the fact that Chamberlain went to the basket a lot. And now he's not going as much. All knocked away by Earl Monroe to Frazier. Coming up on two minutes now as Monroe gives to Reed. Nice pass by Earl. Long pass to Mel Counts. He loses the ball to Earl Monroe and fouls him. Well, you might steal it, but you pay for it, I'll tell you. Now, here's a great pass by Earl Monroe. He, he, the same thing he does. He's been trying to get Wilt up in the air and give it to Willis Reed for the layup. Now, this will disturb most centers. And so the next time a guy comes in, he'll hesitate. And then, then the little guy can get the shot off. And the smart players realize that if you do that once or twice and the big guy doesn't, doesn't, isn't so anxious to commit himself because his man gets a layup and, it, and it, it makes him feel bad. Backcourt foul, Earl Monroe will shoot two, makes the first one. New York leads by nine points, 65-56. Los Angeles has turned it over nine times here in the third quarter. New York only three times. Earl misses the second. inside the will. See what he does now from the line. Oh, gives to Goodrich. Right. 65-58 now. Seven-point lead as we go inside two minutes to play in the third quarter. Knicks win it. It's all over. They win the NBA championship. Offensive foul called on Earl Monroe of the New York Knicks. That's four team fouls on, uh, four personal fouls on Monroe and should be four team fouls on the Knicks. No, it won't even. It's three team fouls, offensive foul, turnover. That's the fourth turnover for New York. A minute and a half to go. That's what I was talking about the Nickel Rockets would have to do. When you put the ball on the floor, go after it. Monroe puts it up, doesn't get it, and a foul is called. Bill Jackson came around to make that steal. You know, uh, when Monroe went in, he checked and looked for the big brother. Uh, is he around where well, I can go for the layup? Bridges made the foul. Take another look at it. Watch Jackson come around now, number 18. See, there he puts the ball down. That's when the, the Knickerbockers have to go after the ball. Because before he shoots, most of the time, he'll go down, put the ball on the floor. 
Monroe's missed two in a row. Yep. Six out of 12 from the field. He had three chances to make two good. Lakers are in the penalty Five team fouls, right? Here's the bounce. Came off. Counts got the rebound. Missed two out of three. 66-58, an eight-point lead for the Knicks coming up on the final minute of the third quarter. Erickson gives the quick, and he is hammered. Question now, who did it? I think they caught on Willis Reed. And uh, here's a pass in there. Sharp taken. Four personals, and uh, probably see Jared Lucas coming in now. Willis unsettled by the call. Minute three to go, third quarter. Bridges on the line. Two shots. Lucas unstuck in the jacket. He'll be coming. Bridges misses. The first free throw. He has six points, two out of seven from the field. He has ten rebounds. Reed leaves and Lucas comes in. Bridges gets one of them. Knicks lead by seven. Dean Meminger also comes into the lineup for New York, number seven. Inside a minute to go, third quarter. Bradley gives to Meminger. Nice ball handling by the Knicks. They move it easily. Stolen by Frazier. Got a foul whistle. He's done it a couple of times. I think he'll start looking for him a little bit. And you know what that does also? That kind of thing that Walt Frazier just did. It makes the guys taking the ball out of bounds hesitate. And that slows down the fast break. All these kind of things that add up because you make guys react to you. And so what he's doing is throwing. Now they have to be careful throwing the ball in bounds. They can't, uh, on the release pass too, they make the rebound this thing too. So that it slows down that half second that it takes to slow down the fast break. Frazier on the line, misses the first one. Los Angeles, 11 turnovers in the third quarter to only four for the Knicks. Wall with three to make two. Now we'll get the bonus. Bridges leads with four personal fouls, and McMillan comes back. Rebound to Mel Pounce. And he missed two out of three. Yep. Ten-point lead for the Knicks. Offensive foul. ways uh, uh, Lucas uh, yes. did two things but he had a good position then he did a good acting job too and you know you see what happens if you do the good acting job you don't just fall back you go Ugh! no you he see, did that way, yeah and that way you, it really emp emphasizes so the referee has to say something 69-59 now <laughs> New York leading by 10 as Chamberlain committed the offensive foul you know, I just remember how you, how you do that you know <laughs> That's the second person along the road. New York for the ball. Making the third person along the road. You know, uh, what's really interesting to watch is uh, uh, Phil Jackson and Mel Counts uh, guarding each other. And uh, neither one of them would be called smooth. Knicks is starting to tear him up now. 71 to 59 as Bradley hits again. Counts won't go. Los Angeles Lakers led 40 by two points at halftime, trail by 12 at the end of three. Double checking the foul totals on Will Chamberlain. He has two, two personal fouls, not three. Now, the Lakers are going this last quarter 12 points down. They got to come back, and they can't fool around a long time either. Now, what they probably should do is, is try to go in the middle. And try, to get, and try to get the Nicky Buckets in foul trouble early. Goodrich misses the free ball. We've got a jump ball between Chamberlain and Lucas. I'll tell you another thing they've got to get. They've got to get some scoring out of the front line, which they did not get in that third quarter. They didn't get it from McMillan, Bridges, nor from Counts. Or Chamberlain. 34% isn't going to win you many ball games in the NBA. Missed the shot, got a foul. Look. Oh, no, 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 no. I will shoot two. Now the, with the um, 
Lakers need to do is to try to get the Knickerbockers in foul trouble early. Well, this reed's been out. He's been resting quite a while. Chamberlain wheels inside, rolls it up and in. New York's lead is 12 with 8 minutes and 10 seconds to play in a ball game. Chamberlain with 18 points. And 18 Nick rebounds. The Knickerbockers will use the basket right now. Frazier against West. Leave it to Dave DeBusher. Take it in. They let him alone, and he just danced right on in and scored. And hurt his ankle. ankle. DeBusher has sprained an ankle. His first points of the night. DeBusher is down. McMillan puts it up. Won't go. Rebound Bridges. He's fouled. DeBusher is down with a severely sprained ankle. Time will be called for him. Seven minutes and 44 seconds to play in a ball game. Dave DeBusher is going to be out of it with a severely sprained ankle. Really hurting. David just scoring a bucket, and it was a big one to make him one for eight in the ball game tonight, his first points of the night. And it may prove very expensive. He has eight rebounds. The Knicks are leading by 14 points. It's going to take some, si some kind of a massive miracle to even get Los Angeles back in this ball game. You always hear people say, well, there's a lot of time. But I don't believe that. I don't buy it that there's a lot of time against a team like the New York Knicks because they have great, great boys. They just don't give it to you. Now, um, for um, Red Holtzman, a couple of things that he can try if uh, Phil Jackson gets in foul trouble and Dave DeBruce can't play anymore. He can actually play... Um, putting Lucas and Reed and Bradley, or he can play Walt Frazier in the front court and use Memory Jim Monroe in the back court. Because Walt Frazier is big enough to guard a guy like Jim McMillan. He couldn't do it over a, a full game, I don't think, but in a situation like this seven minutes ago, he could possibly do that. Well, the way it's the expression on Dave's face, and he's something of an Iron Man, I guarantee you, when he submits to that much expression you know he's hurt 79 to 65 the New York Knicks have committed five team fouls now and everything every time Los Angeles goes to the line they'll be working out of the bonus situation Bridge is up there This is the second free throw after making the first, and now he'll get the bonus, and DeBush is going right to the locker room. That could be a, a broken ankle, or it could be a ligaments torn. And he's getting a standing ovation from the Los Angeles Laker fans. And he deserves it. You know, this is a different kind of ovation. They're not screaming and yelling. They're applauding. Out of respect. Exactly. All right, Bridges gets his two points. He has nine in the ball game. It's 79, 67. Knicks are up by 12. The lowest total for Los Angeles this year was 78 against Chicago in the playoffs. The shot by Bradley, no good. Rebound. Jackson keeps it alive, and Frazier gets it. Seven twenty to go in a ball game. Bradley missed it. Rebound cleared by Goodrich. Frazier's on Goodrich. And switches off to pick up West. Now you see, Walt Frazier, in fouling Jerry West that time, had Goodrich under the defensive boards. Stumpy slipped away and started up court. And then Dean Miminger never did get in the defensive flow. So Frazier went from Goodrich over to West. And when you're catching up, that's when you get to fouls a lot of times. Right. West on the line with eight points. Now nine. And uh, the Lakers are making a mild move right now. Uh, they put it down uh, with this free throw. If you mention it, down to ten points from 14. West will get the... Uh, and that's the way you catch up is a little bit at a time. You don't, you can't catch up all at once. You can't reel off necessarily. We don't have to reel off 10 or 8 straight points. What you try to do is pick up one here, two there, one there. And uh, now the Lakers are just went off six straight. In a very quiet way, though. New York leading by 10 as we come up to seven minutes. Next led by 21, Tuesday night, in the middle of the third quarter. Jackson, good! Bill Jackson... 
his first points of the night. Goodrich against Meminger, Chamberlain. McMillan. Good. Six and a half minutes to play in the game. Meminger, basket counts and a foul, and Meminger. That hurt bad. He's quicker than you might think. He comes up, changes gears on you, and then turns it on. Watch here. He just simply got away from Goodrich and took it home. Three fouls on Gale. Got big strides for what would be considered a little guy. And time is called. So Meminger with a chance to make it a three-point play with six minutes and 28 seconds remaining in the game. New York 83, Los Angeles 71. Meminger will go to the line. Chance to make a three-point play. Four, now five points. And in the series, he hadn't scored in six to two minutes in the first four games. But he just came up with a real big bucket right there. Jackson and Meminger, two reserves, getting the last four points for New York. Goodrich pumps it up. Jackson rebound. Frazier will take his time. Six minutes to play in a ball game. 84-71. Knicks. Five on the timer. No. Chamberlain has the rebound. 5.45 to play. McMillan. Basket counts a foul ball. That's five personal fouls on Bill Bradley. Macmillan will have a one plus one, two to make one, however you like it. 16 points. Makes the first one, three point play for Macmillan. And they're back to 10. 10 point lead, New York. Busher very badly sprained ankle. He's gone to the locker room. Frazier running it down against West. Five seconds. Missed it. Rebound, Chamberlain. 20 rebounds for Chamberlain. Goodrich against Miminger. Miminger fouled it. And here we go. They're starting to... Uh, the Lakers are making a move now. Uh, after he makes these two free throws, it's an eight-point ball game with uh, five minutes to go, and that's not a very big lead with five minutes to go. Willis Reed is back in the lineup. Bill Bradley goes out for New York. Now, the Lakers can pull this game out. They're in pretty good shape with Dave DeBusher uh, injured. You know, uh, that would uh, give them a tremendous advantage in the next couple of games. I would say so. Nine-point lead, New York, with Goodrich sets for his second free throw and 5.06 to play in the game. Goodrich has 20 points. Coming up on five minutes. Five minutes to play. New York by eight. Reed against Chamberlain. Inside Jackson. Won't go. The rebound. Reed has it. Taken away by McMillan. Bad to Goodrich against Lucas. Shoots. Nobody to rebound if he misses. It's a six-point ball game. Knicks have gone conservative. Had a 14-point lead. That has shrunk down to eight, six points with four minutes and 26 seconds to play in a ball game in New York Falls time. And hang on. We'll be right back. No, rebound, yes. Loose ball, foul, ball, they wave off the basket. Daryl Garrison waves off the basket. Bill Bridges fouls out of the game. 
Bradley got it. Bill Bradley. Neil Goodrich puts it up. The answer. Three minutes to play. Four point ball game. 86 82. Earl Monroe brings it up. Goodrich with 26 points. Monroe working against Goodrich. Chamberlain cuts him off and knocks it out of bounds. Since New York had its big lead of 79 65, the Lakers have outscored them 17 to 7. Reed. Willis Reed hits a bucket to make it 88 82. Two and a half minutes to play in a ball game as West works outside against Frazier. Just got it over to McMillan. Back to Erickson. Rebound. Rebound. Picked up by Bill Bradley. There's the Willis Reed. Here's Earl Monroe. West fouled him. That, that may do it. some pressure off. Here's that was some move because West, a uh, good defensive player, and Monroe, uh, that's a dangerous pass. Uh, here's where he gives it to him. He gives him a whole lot of motion here. And that big hope there. He makes this at Mitchell nine point lead with two minutes and 15 seconds to go. And uh, also the Lakers are in uh, foul trouble too. They got, both teams got five fouls, so they're shooting free throws. Each team with three timeouts. And Phil Jackson foul. Now that was not a good foul. He has four. Here's a replay on the foul. I see a foul like this. Uh, he's hustling. But a uh, foul like that um, is when you, uh, this time when you push up to the conservative defense of it, too. Jim McMillan misses the first one. That helps. He missed the throw. So, you know, a lot of free throws missed tonight. Oh, yes. Coming up on two minutes to play in the ball game. Frazier breaks loose. Gives it back to Reed. Lakers knock it out of bounds. That's, uh, Rose Reed made the right move then. He just didn't get the handle, but, uh, what he did, he saw Frazier going, and so he, going toward the basket, so just when the big guy picks the guy up, you got to give him a, a place to release. Jackson against McMillan. Reed puts it up. That'll do it. That may do it. 11-point lead. New York has scored seven straight points. West, he hits one. With a minute 47 to play. Clock stops on every foul. Lakers steal it. Here they come right back to trail by seven. Reed now calls for a foul. And Chamberlain will go to the line as Reed works here, you see in the replay, slams and Willis up trying to get it, hit him on the arm. And that was, um, the guy took the ball out of bounds. If you don't have anybody pass to or if there's too much traffic, you should call time out. At a time like this. Chamberlain, four out of 13 from the foul line. Next the second one gets a three-point play, and it's a six-point New York lead with 146 to go in the ball game. Not over yet. Frazier against West. Coming up on a minute 35 to play in the ball game. Ten on the timer. Actually, uh, the late, uh, Knickerbockers could use another point. Three on the timer. One roll. Got a foul. Got a foul called with one second left on the timer. Now he could use, uh, they could use one of these. Chamberlain gets his third personal. They could use at least one of these free throws. One plus one for Monroe. Minute 23 to play in the ball game. 94-87. Seven-point lead. Monroe has 19 points. Now 20. He made both. Eight-point lead. 
Goodrich gets it out of the corner. People are beginning to move out of the forum. A lot of them, maybe a third of them, started to leave when New York came back with that run. Ball is stolen by Chamberlain, given to Erickson. McMillan gets the basket. 95-91, a four-point ball game. Lakers are pressing full court. Knicks get it over. 59 seconds as we go inside a minute. 15 seconds on the timer, clock running, 50 seconds. Foul Erickson. Monroe will go back to the line. Hey, one thing, I think it's not giving up. That's Keith Erickson's sixth personal foul. He's gone, so he joins Bill Bridges as having fouled out of this ball game. New York trying to win it, and winning will mean the NBA championship for them in 1973. Pat Riley will come in for Los Angeles. He's played very, very little. In fact, none, I guess, against New York. None. First appearance against the Knicks in the final round. Line one plus one makes the first one. Earl is at seven out of ten from the free throw line. Dean Meminger coming in. Bill Jackson going out. A change for the Knicks. Now, what they're going to do is have uh, more ball handlers out there because uh, so that because they know the, the Lakers are going to be full court pressing. And they need uh, a ball handlers just to get the ball out of bounds and get it up court because they don't really have to score a again. I don't think if he makes this at six points, if they can use up the clock twice, uh, then they, they can still win by two. And so that uh, they need ball handlers to get the ball up. Fifty-two seconds to play as Monroe misses the second. 96-91 Los Angeles. Controls the ball off the shot and calls time. They will see some aggravation here. Nobody's going to be able to relax until it's all over. Lakers bring it in at half court. Now they put Phil Jackson to play defense. I expect that the Knickerbockers will call time out when, uh, when they get the ball so they can put a defensive team in there. Goodrich lost the ball. Goodrich lost the ball. Willis Reed picked it up, and now the Knicks have it with only 40 seconds to play, and they lead by five, and what a big play that was. What a big turnover that was. McMillan against Monroe. 30 seconds to play in a ball game. 10 seconds on the timer. Knicks running the clock. Earl Monroe, bucket here, it's over. Chamberlain blocked it. Goal tending card on Chamberlain, and the New York Knicks have won this basketball game, and they have won the NBA championship. Bill Jackson has the rebound, 13 seconds to play, and a foul called in backcourt. And we have some new champions for the NBA. Knicks won it first in 1970. And they've come back now to win it in 1973. They lost last year to the Los Angeles Lakers, four games to one. Won the first one, the Lakers won four in a row. The Lakers won the first one this year, and now New York is going to come back to win four in a row. Jackson makes the free throw. The final score is academic. Take a look here at one of the big plays in the ball game. Knicks have 100 points. As Jackson makes both free throws, the ball just got away. Actually, Monroe knocked that ball loose from Goodrich. Frazier picks it up down court, gives to Earl, and it's tipped in by Jackson. Three seconds to play. They give it down court to Chamberlain. He drops it in. One second to play. One. Knicks are hugging each other and having some fun, but they inbound it. The clock goes, and the game is over, and New York has won the ball game. For the locker room, I don't know how to get there. <laughs> he's on his way to the locker room. That's where he's going. The New York Knicks headed for the quiet of their locker room, having won the NBA championship. Four games to one, 102-93, beating the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, New York tonight is the only the second team in NBA history to win the championship on a foreign court. The Boston Celtics did it here in 1969 when they beat the Lakers in a seventh game. And now New York has won it in the fifth game, 102 to 93. Los Angeles won the opening game here, 115 to 112. 
New York came back to win the second game here at 99-95. Then it was 87-83 New York in New York. 103-98 in New York for the Knicks. And tonight here in Los Angeles at the Forum in Inglewood, New York wins it all 102-93. Don't forget this Saturday on ABC's Wide World of Sports, you'll see the Indianapolis 500 time trials and the World Wrist Wrestling Championships. And also this Saturday and Sunday, the Colonial National Invitational Golf Tournament live from Fort Worth, Texas at 3.30 p.m. Sunday at 4.15 Eastern Daylight Time. And we'll be in the locker room talking with the victorious New York Knicks in just a few moments. The executive producer of NBA basketball is Rune Arledge. Tonight's game was produced by Jeff Mason, and during the season, Don Olmeyer was our producer as well. Our directors for the season tonight, Larry Cam, Lou Bopicelli during the year, and our technical director tonight, John Allen. Vern Hendrickson worked with us during the season. Don't forget, we'll be in the locker room in just a few moments. Now this is Keith Jackson along with Bill Russell. At the Forum in Inglewood, California, and NBA basketball has been brought to you by Ford and your Ford dealers. See all the better ideas for 73 at your Ford dealers. By Champion Spark Plug Company, maker of better plugs for everyone. And by Men and Skin Bracer, the morning aftershave. Its skin tighteners and chin chillers wake you up like a cold slap in the face. Travel arrangements made through promotional fee paid by United Airlines. Chosen for travel by more sports teams than any other airline. 102.93, back in a moment. Let's check into the Knicks locker room where it's all happy and the television voice of the New York Knicks, Bob Wolf. Hi, everybody. Right here is Bedlam in the New York Knicks locker room, and right beside me, the winning coach, Red Holzman. And Red, congratulations to you and the Thank world you, champions. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. During the game this evening, I know that there were many tense moments for you. What do you think was the turning point to get out there and take it? Well, I think uh, when we opened it up at the end of the game, we played real good defense to stay close, and then we uh, did a good job offensively. Of course, we were very worried when uh, Dave got hurt there because so this club is really out of it. They're a great club, great basketball team. And uh, you have to continuously be uh, ready and be worried about them. Good. Red, congratulations. I know you came back with four in a row. Red, Red you put a smile up there, and there are photographers all around. Right by my side, on this side, the, the chairman and president of Madison Square Garden Corporation, Irving Mitchell Felt, and the chairman of the New York Knicks, the president of the New York Knickerbockers, Ned Irish. And on this side, the captain of the New York Knicks, Willis Reed, Jimmy Wergley, the business manager here, Frank Blaschild, on his side. <laughs> Willis, here he is, Frank. Willis, I know this is a great moment for you because you had a, a problem getting back into shape, but you put it all together when it counted when the chips were down. I think so. I think the whole team played well, and I was just glad to be a part of the team that came back and played such tremendous ball. Yeah. There was a problem with fouls, but uh, you stuck right in there, too. Yeah, we played a great ball. The defense was a turning point for us this game. How did you do the team defense that you did so well uh, so everybody contributed? I think it's desire and determination, and I think that Lakers wanted us in this series, and we they got us. Were they as tough as you thought they were going to be? <laughs> right. No, they played well, but it was close games, and but we were a better ball club, looked like, they defensively. Did. Uh, they did ask for the, the Knicks. Irv, I know what uh, a thrill this is for you as the chairman and president of the corporation. Well, we're all happy, we're excited, we're proud, Bob. Well, that's great. And Ned, you're the man who made basketball go through the years. Well, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm certainly glad that we did it after trying so hard all year. Okay. Well, it's a big triumph. Now let's listen to a few of the others here. We'll grab us. Here's Bill Russell. Bill, we're going to get some of the other Knicks and Red again. Our congratulations right, to you. Thank you very much. Well, uh, these guys, uh, let's see if we can get uh, Bill Bradley. Can we get you over here? 
Let's see if we get uh, Bill Bradley over here. Lucas, Lucas, here you go, Bill. Told you. Oh, we got Jerry Lucas here. Jerry the Luke. Shoot, shoot the long, shoot the long bomb. Well, I finally made a couple tonight, Bill. I hadn't been shooting it too well, but a couple of them went in for me tonight. I'm tickled to death. It's my first time to win, you know, Bill, and it's the biggest thrill of my life. I know you won 10 or 11 times, and you know what the thrill is like, but I don't think there's anything like the first one. It's my first one, and I hope I have the opportunity to get another one or so before I quit. Yeah, well, listen, uh, Jerry, uh, you have a, a lot of chance for a lot more because you guys have uh, what it seems like an old club. is really a, a, a quite a young team. And you guys, are, if you play this intelligence all the time, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I think, we, I think Bill, I, I can say without a doubt that I think this is the most intelligence club that's ever played professional basketball. We have players who not only are intelligent, but they, but they know how to play basketball. They have a good basketball minds and good basketball knowledge. We help each other on both ends of the courts, and that's the, way, the only way to win, and, uh, of course, that's the way we play it. All right, Jerry, and uh, congratulations Thank again, you, and uh, I'm glad you started hitting the long bomb. Thank you, you very you, much. You picked a good time, I can sure, tell you yeah, that. I was very happy about it. Here's Bill Bradley right by our side, and Bill, a great game. Congratulations to you. Thanks a lot, Bob. What, to you, uh, the highlight of the series against the Lakers? At this point, I don't know. I just know how I feel. It's unlike anything that uh, I feel, except the last time we won. And it's really the reason you play. You play for this kind of feeling. I think we worked hard. We deserved to win. We were a smart team out there, and we never gave up, and we made fewer mistakes, and that's why we won. Yeah, the mistakes were a big thing. You play like professionals, the turnovers on the other end. And, you know, I've always said that uh, teams are not one or two or five guys even, but nine and ten, twelve guys, and this series sure proved it all the way down the line. We had guys coming in off the bench to do very good things and uh, intelligent things. Bill, let's talk about your games. Uh, you had big games against these guys. Uh, you know, uh, for, for years, the first few years of the league, you didn't, uh, you didn't show too much on individual moves. In the last couple of years, especially this year, I think I've noticed you making the, the type of moves you made in college. Now, uh, what brought about this change at this point? I was listening to an L.A. radio station the, uh, <laughs> last week, and an uh, interviewer called in and said, uh, what's the matter with Bill Bradley? He said he plays a little cautious, too cautious, didn't play as uh, free as he did in college. And so I, this series heard that and decided I'd try to make some moves. <laughs> Bill show there. Well, come in here, if you will. Pardon me. Here's the man with those quick hands and what a job. Walt, uh, you were just taking that ball away and when it counted, how do you feel about it all? Yeah, I feel great, man, really. I'm glad the season's over and now I can get some rest and take a vacation. Hey, hey, listen, I'm glad you're here. You know, <laughs> you know I've been kidding Walt uh, yeah. the whole series that uh, I've been telling him he didn't show up for the games. And, uh, you know, the first game uh, he had one of his disasters. One of the few in his career, I might say. And uh, I just goes to show you nobody's perfect, Bill. Well, I was I was worried about that. Well, I thought you were gonna be perfect and really and really shake the thing up. But I want to tell you something that uh, you you know you know how you played. But you know, to me, it was a real pleasure to watch a guy under pressure perform a, a game in and game out, having to play 48 minutes. And most of the time, the backcourt men don't play that long. To play with no rest, uh, not let the things bother you, and always keep you cool. And uh, that's what champions are made out of. That's true. That's what you used to do, and uh, I think I have some of those same qualities. Oh, yeah, you got a lot of them, Walt. Yeah, right. well, well, that's one of the marks. Go ahead, Walt. It's not as great as winning it the first time, and I think a lot of people are surprised that we did win it, but the team had confidence all year that we could do it. And we played like we knew we could. You know, we did the things we had to do, and we pulled it out. So, uh, it's one a great thing, thing about Walt, I noticed you never changed expression, even with the loss. It was the same as the win. I think it was the mark of the team. They 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 took the ups and the downs and stayed right. Uh, I there. think that was the experience of the team and the pause, not cracking under pressure. Because uh, no matter how things, you know, how bad they look, sometimes I know they always get better. Walt, congratulations. Yeah. World champion. Yeah. Here's Dean here. Oh, Dean Reminger, wow. Phil Jackson coming over. Here's the man who kept the acceleration on. Dean, you made a vital three-point play in there, going down fast. Phil, congratulations. Thank you. Big series. A lot better than sitting on the, huh? on the sidelines watching 1970. You came through one of the big stars of the series. You saved your big ones for the end. Thank you. Thank you. Well, How do you feel about it all? Basically, it's an incredible feeling. You know, I felt that the team played great the whole series, and Phil made a hell of a contribution in the playoffs. Yeah. I just feel everybody played well. You know, a lot of people counted us out as being the champions in 1973, but we felt that we could do it all. You know, an amazing thing is the way that Red used all the players. Used you, Phil, in the big spots. Used Dean for the to bring the ball down quickly. And keep the ball. Well, the whole thing, 
the whole thing, Bob, about that is he plays everybody all year round. Everybody gets the experience. He's a very good coach. There's no doubt about that. One of the finest I've ever seen. And when it, when you have experience on the bench, you can come in and play everybody in the cl clutch situations. And you were ready when needed. Uh, you were used to pressure in the event. Now, Phil, uh, you know, Dave DeBush got hurt tonight, so we, we are having trouble getting him on here. But I want you to say something about uh, the way Dave played in the playoffs this year, just in the playoffs. Well... Dave is one of the most solid ball players in basketball. He gives you 100% every night. He's a defensive standout. There's no doubt about that. Offensively, he had about three great games for us, and he's a clutch ball player. What can you say more than that? That's, that's, that's enough. It. That's what champions are made of. Have you spoken to Dave? I thought a chance to go through the crowd. How's, how's yeah. I think he's going to be all right. I spoke to his man. He said he's fine. Okay. Well, he does have to worry about it for the rest of this year. That's for sure. All right. All right. Yeah, it be a nice, so, uh, nice short summer for you now. See, now, you, but excuse me, by the time you get to enjoying it, it'll be time to go back to work. See, the long summers are when you lose. Definitely. And then you, you have to spend the summer explaining why. Then you you came through with that big clutch bucket when you needed it. That's the kind of player you are. So congratulations. And uh, and uh, Keith, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. It's a happy bunch. They deserve it. They played extraordinary basketball. I emphasize again, it's a team of unusual poise that brilliantly disciplined, brilliantly coached basketball team, and they have won their second NBA title, beating the Los Angeles Lakers tonight, 102-93, to and they won it in 70, come back to win it in 73, beating Baltimore to get into the second round of the playoffs, beat Boston in seven games, and took the Lakers out in five. Willis Reed of the New York Knicks has been named the MVP in the championship series. He will receive a new automobile from Sport Magazine. I'd like to pay a special respects to Terry O'Neill, who was our statistician during the season. And so that's the story of NBA basketball. And from all of us from ABC Sports, you have a nice summer. Keith Jackson here at the Forum in Inglewood, California. This has been an ABC Sports presentation.